Hi guys, well now I am going to explain you how exactly to ball this kind of dusra in the context of off spin bowling. Well actually to ball this kind of dusra what exactly you need to do is you need to grip the ball just like as a, a classical off break bowling grip. Well the grip will be in this way. Well this is the classical way of gripping the ball for a classical off break. Okay. The slight change is what exactly you need to do is you need to make sure the index finger has to be here like this like this okay like this and the thumb should be always switched on okay now the tip of the index finger has to be rested firmly on the edge of the seam seamy part of the ball like this okay and whereas in the middle finger has to be along with the seam in down direction like this okay whereas the key is the index finger the tip of the index finger has to be okay has to be rested firmly on the edge of the you can see on the edge of the seamy part of the ball okay like this and the thumb should be always switched on okay like this this is the way you need to grip the ball for this kind of dusra okay well to strike or skid the ball from front of the hand the tip of the index finger should be rested on the edge of the seamy part of the ball or the index finger can also be inserted between the palm and the ball and also at the same time the middle finger should be along with the seam in down direction and the thumb should be always switched on. Well, actually, this may be morally known as the dusra, but technically it can be known as the carom ball. Okay. Well, now this can this kind of ball can also be known as the partly as a carom ball, or you can say partly as a dusra. At the end of the well, at the end of the day, this is the ball which spins away from the batsman after hitting the pitch. Okay. So, finally, what I'm trying to say is, it can be a partly dusra or it can be a partly a carom ball. Okay. Well, visually, since you are going to skid or spin the ball away from the right-handed batsman under the context of same off-break bowling action, it can also be known as a dusra. And also, now, at the same time, since technically you are going to skid or strike the ball majorly with the help of the index finger in moving the ball away from the right handed batsman then it can also be known as a carom ball. So what exactly you need to do is with the help of the index finger okay you need well in on the carom board what you are going to do is with the help of the striker you are going to strike the coin well that's the same concept you are going to follow here okay with the help of the index finger you are going to strike the ball or you can say you are going to push the ball from front of the hand okay or you are going to skid the ball from front of the hand with the help of the index finger from right to left okay from right to left see like this from right to left so that the ball after hitting the pitch just skids on or you can say skids on doesn't uh, does mean it moves away from the batsman but skids okay with lesser flight okay it doesn't fly you are going to push the ball from front of the hand or you can say you are you are going to skid the ball with the help of the index finger like this with the ball rotating from right to left with the direction of position of the seam facing towards the cover point region or maybe facing towards the point region okay well with the help of the index finger you are going to strike or push the ball from front of the hand in such a way that the ball along with the seam facing towards the point or cover point region rotates from right to left direction which finally allows the ball to move away from the right handed batsman after hitting the pitch
this concept may be a slightly similar to the leg spin bowling concept but it is quite different okay you are going to skid the ball so that the ball after hitting the pitch should move away from the batsman with a lesser flight okay so the only difference is you are going to skid the ball from front of the hand whereas in a classical leg break bowling you are going to spin the ball from back of the hand okay like this whereas from front of the hand you are going to skid the ball like this you are going to push the ball okay that's why this ball is known as a carom ball okay you are going to strike just like you are you are going to do with the middle finger or index finger well depending upon the bowler's comfortability okay generally normally bowlers does use the index finger okay to strike the ball just like you strike a coin with the help of the striker on the carom board that's the same concept here you need to follow you need to like this like this it can be like this also it can be like this okay you're going to do like this i'm going to do like this okay you're going to push the ball see you're going to push the ball from right to left so that the ball moves away from the batsman after hitting the pitch or like this okay see i'm sh- i will show you like this like this like this okay like this remember the thumb should be always switched on like this okay like this well you can see here the ball is clearly released from the back of the hand which is clearly in opposite direction and also the front of the hand is clearly facing our side when the ball actually is released and now in carom ball you can see here majorly with the help of the index finger the ball is clearly released from front of the hand which is clearly in opposite direction and also the back of the hand is clearly facing our side when the ball actually is released so the ball rotates like this the direction of position of the seam may be towards the cover point region or can be towards the point region can be towards the point region or can be towards the cover point region and then when it hits the pitch it skids it skids but it turns away from the right handed batsman okay you can say this delivery as a fast leg spinning delivery okay released from front of the hand okay like this. okay like this so at the end of the day the ball rotates like this it skids on and moves away from the batsman the ball rotates like this the ball rotates like this with the direction of position of the seam facing towards the point region or cover point region and it just hits the pitch and skids on that which means it moves away from the batsman but fastly okay a fast leg spinning delivery with less flight okay relative from front of the hand it just skids on or moves away from the batsman okay remember here the two things will happen one it just skids on and it turns away from the batsman fastly okay with lesser flight turns like this okay so you are going to do this process with back of the palm facing towards the side screen okay with back of the palm facing towards the side screen you can see 
well in order to bowl a carom ball or you can say to strike the ball with the help of the index finger in the back of the palm we have to face the side screen well in order to push the ball or you can say skid the ball away from the right handed batsman the ball along with the seam should face towards the point region or core point region and also should rotate from right to left direction well even from this angle the ball along with the seam facing towards the point region or core point region is trying to rotate from right to left direction which finally moves away from the right handed batsman after hitting the pitch well this is what the concept of dusra or the carom ball is all about in the context of of break bowling hope you have understood